Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, Divi Supreme modules have done it again. They've come out with this fantastic new gallery module and it's a filterable gallery so you can put your images in. You can have color overlays and info on them. You can click them, get a light box. And of course you can filter them. We've got them all here at the moment. We can filter them, computers, natures, people, water. And you can cross categorize as well. You can have uh, people and nature and computers by comma separating. I'll show you how to do that. But this is a brand new module from Supreme Modules and it is really, really stunning. So I'll show you how to build this. Let's get started. Okay, and to build this feature today, you're gonna to need to have Divi Supreme Pro installed and activated. You'll find the link below the video there. I've got a section here with two little rows in it. I'm gonna delete both these rows and we'll start from scratch. Okay, well there's my section. I'm gonna add a new row. I'm gonna use a single column for it. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules here. When you install Divi Supreme Pro, you get these blue ones and there's plenty of them and there's some absolutely stunning plugins here, really useful. Divi Supreme is definitely one of my favorite additions to the Divi theme. And today I'm looking for the filterable gallery. There it is right there, Supreme Filterable Gallery. Once you pop it in, it's gonna pop it up just like this. Now you can use it regular or you can use it with dynamic images. And I'll show you what that means in just a moment. Let's just quickly do a regular one. I'm gonna add some gallery image and I'll just grab a bunch for this particular demo. What I will point out while we're in here is once you install this, you get a little field over here called attachment category and you can categorize your images and I'll show you more on that in a moment. So I've selected a bunch there. And like any gallery, it just loads them for you and you've got a sort of nice little masonry, masonry gallery just like that. And that's a great feature on its own. And because my images have the categories already for when I built the demo version of this, there's actual categories up there. If I roll down a bit here, you can choose the number of columns you want to display. Great little feature. And this is important, image sizes. This isn't actually for your thumbnails that you're looking at here. This is for when you click on them, they pop out into a light box if you're using that. So if you choose to use a light box, I'd bring my images up a bit to maybe large, not cropped. You can change your columns gap here and the rows gap. For instance, if I take those both down to zero, they're actually touching each other now. And as with all things Divi, if you don't like what you've done, simply delete it. It'll go back to the default for you. You can change the speed here and the different layout types you've got here. This won't actually be too obvious when I do this with this particular one, but a card layout, if you've got info there, will show the info under the actual image if you choose to. We've also got an overlay layout, which will make all your images all the same size here and it'll give you an overlay and you can put text and things in there and I'll show you that in a moment. And you can choose your image style there. Hover style for your overlay here if you're doing the overlay version. And the hover transition time, you can set it there for speed. Here you can actually choose what elements you want to put in there. You can enable the filter rule gallery, as you can see we got there. If you just want a regular gallery, turn that off. And we've got a regular one. That would be nice with the masonry type gallery. Now here you can choose to show a title, caption, description. If I turn all of these on, let's turn that filter wall back on, show all image text, that's referring to this. If you just want to have your categories and not have the all, you can turn that off right there, which is great. And you can decide whether to show title, caption, description. You can choose to use a light box. You can show pagination if you're only showing a certain amount of images. I've got all my images displayed there. 
If you want it to paginate or show more if you like, you can switch this to on. Then you can configure it, images per page, let's say four. Then you can go down and choose whether to have a load more button or numbered pagination at the bottom. I kind of like a load more on mine. I'm not going to link mine to anything because you've got the light box there. If you did want to put a link in for your module, you could do so here. And these aren't for individual images. That's for the actual whole gallery itself. So I'm going to go up. I'm going to go to the general again. And we'll get rid of these images. And I'll show you how to actually use dynamic images, which is great. I'm going to change that back to three. I'm going to switch dynamic images on. Now, as you can see here, we've got several categories, computers, natures, people, and water. Check the ones that you want to put in there. Now, when you're using dynamic, you might find on the back end like this, they don't actually show up. But once you save and go to the front end, they'll all be there. And what these dynamic images actually are, the categories here, if we go to the media library, to get your media library, go down to your dashboard. Once in the dashboard, there's media right there. There's your library. Now, as I mentioned earlier, once you upload an image or have images in here, if I click on one, you've got a little category over here, which is added when you add Divi Supreme. So you can put a title in there. You can have a caption or description. Let's add a new image. And I'll show you how that works. Let's grab an image. I'm just going to drag it up here. And once uploaded, if you click on it, here we go. We'll give it a title. Let's say it's a Cloud City or something like that. We'll give it a caption. And a description. Whatever you want to say there. And down here, we can give it a category. And I'll add a new little category. Let's call this Cities. Okay, so we've got our image uploaded. And like I say, you can do this to existing images on your site once you have this installed here. Now, if we save everything, go back to our little gallery here. Let's just save our draft and refresh the page here as we've added a new image. Now, if we go back into our little gallery here, we've got a new category up there. So I'm going to select all of these again. And like I say, on the back end, you're not going to see them show up. I want to make sure that I've got my light box effect to a reasonable size. I'm going to leave the columns, gap and speed, everything else. I'm actually going to use the overlay layout for this. I'm going to leave the image height at 300 pixels. That works for me. Hover style, I'm going to put that to fade in. Hover transition, that's fine with me. What elements do I want to put in there? Well, I want to enable the filter, filterable gallery, that's fine. I'm happy to show that all images text. You can change it underneath here if you want it to say something else. Okay, I'm going to want my title when we hover over it and the caption and the description. And I'm going to want to use the light box. I'm going to show pagination. Let's configure it down below here. Order ascending, that's fine by name, that'll work for me. Number of images. Well, I've got about 20 in there, I think. We'll say images per page. I'm using three columns, so let's say six per page. Pagination, I'm going to use the load more button. I'm not going to put a link or a background in there. Now, if we move over to our design side, we can style title. I'm going to use the regular font. As with everything Divi, Divi's got a huge amount of fonts. To audition one, just click on there, roll over it. It'll give you an example. I'm going to capitalize mine, I think. I'm going to make my text white because we're using an overlay. Everything else, I'll leave the same there. Caption, 
I'm going to do similar. I'm just going to make my text white on the caption and also for the description. If we roll down a little bit, we're not using the card. We're using the overlay for ours today. You can style the actual images here, give them uh, margins, paddings, caught rounded corners if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just as they are. Content wrappers, but the whole thing is wrapped in here and you can add more spacing and padding if you want to. I'm going to leave that just as it is. Overlay, I'm going to leave it on the default color and I'm going to leave the padding as it is. It works for me and I'll show you, demonstrate this when we save and look at it on the front end. Here are our category tabs. You can style these here. You can align them left, center or right. And let's say inactive background color, let's make that blue. Active background color, we'll make that purple. As you can see, that one's changed up there. And the text, I'm going to leave both of those as white. I'm happy with the shape of it. You can add margin and padding and things to change the shape of it or margins to move it left, right, up and down. And of course, you can change the font there also. I'm pretty happy with everything there. I think I might capitalize that text and we'll give it a bit of text shadow just to make it stand out a little bit more there. Okay. Not going to change anything else there. Here's our pagination down below here. And again, I'm going to give it blue on inactive, purple on active text. It's going to be white. Padding margin, I'm going to leave. Center's fine for me for the read more button. I'm going to leave the font as it is. I will capitalize it though. Now here's our load more. That's what I've chosen to have with mine. So background color, I'm going to make that blue. Let's give it a hover state. And this is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing there, you'll see some icons appear. If there's a little arrow, click on it. We can set a desktop state, which is when your mouse is not on it, and a hover state when your mouse is on it. When we hover on it, I'm going to make it purple. And back to the blue for the desktop. Padding's fine. I'm going to leave everything default, default. I will capitalize that. And I want it to be white in color. Great, well I'm not going to add any sizing, spacing, border or box shadow or filters, transform or animation. Just want to go back to my content here. In the general settings, we're using dynamic there, number of columns three, that works for me. We've chosen to use the overlay with a fade in. Elements wise, We've enabled the filterable gallery, show all images, text, which is my everything right there. Configuration wise, number of images. Well, we've got about 20 total images per page I've set to six. So we should be good to go. Let's save everything here. And when I go to the front end here, little purple button to save the page changes, save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And there we have it. Now we've exited the visual builder. Our little dynamic images have shown up there. There's our all button that says everything. So we should have all of our images. But of course we said to only show six. So if we load more, loads another six underneath, load more, it'll load another six under, underneath again. And of course cities, I'll only have one image there because I've only got one in my cities categories, computers, nature people and water and what I was saying about cross categories this one I've got it in water and nature so if I go back to my little library here let's go into one of these pictures this city one we added and we'll add another category as well and to do that just comma separate it put a little comma there and I'm going to put nature as well because of the clouds and you can do another one if you want to in three categories simple as that you don't need to save anything once you modify an image here it saves automatically 
So now we can go back there. Now, if we go back to our page and I refresh, if I go to nature now, our little cloud city picture should be there as well. There it is. And it's also in cities. So you can double up there. If we go back to the everything now, actually let's go back to the cities. I'll show you the overlay. We've got our overlay. There's the title. And there's the info and description. And that's great. And of course you can center align this as well in the design tab. I think this is an absolutely awesome gallery. It's one of the best I've actually looked at. And I've looked at an awful lot. And of course, Divi Supreme, like I said earlier, is a fantastic addition to the Divi theme. So there you go, guys. There is the new filterable gallery module from Divi Supreme Modules Pro. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget the link to this will be down below if anybody wants to check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.